Hello everyone, this is Dark Dimensions Hide House and today we are at Six Flags, Fiesta, Texas to check out Fright Fest updates. It's August 31st, 2024. Here is one of the new items, our decorations that they have. You replace the skeleton. We're gonna go inside and see some of the updates. Fright Fest starts next weekend. All right, so here up at the entrance, they changed. Now it's Dia de los Muertos. So I've been seeing that they've been adding that. You can see some of the skeletons up there with all the Day of the Dead decorations. Yeah, before, I forget, it was, uh, man, I can't remember what it was called. The Soul Harvest, right? I think it was called the Soul Harvest. No, a long time ago it was El Chupacabras, but they changed it to Soul Harvest, but now, because they had the barn, now it's Dia de los Muertos. All right, so here, some more park decorations for this scare zone. I don't know how it's gonna be, if it's gonna be scary since it's gonna be Day of the Dead. I oh, also forgot my sister being a big Deutschland German fan. <laughs> you, got, you got German in your blood. They celebrate Oktoberfest. So yeah, there you go, Jordan. Get your beer stein. I guess the log ride is down. I just noticed somebody left their shoes for whatever reason. So yeah, over here, I believe this is going to be a returning haunt, the House of Hoonigan. That's like a voodoo house. And you go back there. Yeah, so over here is Spazberg section. They brought back Wicked Hollow. This one is a really awesome scare zone. When they have all the scare up actors, but you can see they've repainted some of this and kind of touched up some of the stuff. I always love these haunted dolls, even though they're aging really bad with the sun. They tried painting them up. Look at these cracks. These are by Nevermore Productions. They were really awesome when they first came out, but man, that sun has really hurt them. So here's some of their huge decorations. And then of course this Silent Hill looking monster. All right, so one of the new haunts, brand new for 2024 that I'm really excited for is right and straight ahead. It's gonna be themed Stranger Things where you go to the upside down to Hawkins. So yeah, to go with the theme right here, they have the Demogorgon in the shop. All right, so this, we're in Rockville High, which is like a 50s theme section, but over here they have the high school, which they've been doing Rock Hill High School, but they just, now for 2024, they're doing Stranger Things, which I'm really excited for. Uh, that one I'm really looking forward to. I was hoping I'd see some kind of like updates or something over here. I don't see anything. I was hoping to see something kind of Stranger Things. I saw Jeffrey Seberg post stuff. I wrote him. I know there are some people that go inside and they film the haunted houses and they have permission. I've never been given permission. SeaWorld will let you film. Halloween Horror Nights will let you film. But Six Flags, as of now, they do not let you film. And this would be a really awesome one. Yeah, the Fright Fest is opening next weekend. So I'm surprised. I thought I'd see something Stranger Things. They moved all the stuff. It was the, um, it was sci-fi. I think it was called Infestation Scare Zone. Oh, here's this. They had this last year. This is like one of the kids' trails for like trick-or-treating. So yeah, they have a Halloween kids' trick-or-treat area right here. 
But yeah, all the infestation stuff, minus the school bus. Maybe the school bus will do with a theme for Stranger Things. But yeah, here's infestation. They usually have more. This one's really cool. This one, you got the UFO spaceship. And it's located right here in front of the Scream. This one's a really fun ride, of course. I was hoping to see them uh, fly up in the air. Maybe we can from right here. Are they going up? All right, so we're walking over to the Fiesta Bay Boardwalk. This one is usually where they have the clown theme. We're gonna check that out. All right, so they have some of their theming for their clown stuff. I think their haunted house is called Twisted. Yeah, right over here on the boardwalk. I wish they would add a little bit more theming like they did before with all their clowns. But yeah, here's the entrance to Twisted. This one is a really cool one. This one is over here in the old Joker's Revenge haunted house or dark ride, whatever it's called, Joker's Revenge. They had like a 3D clown maze, but that's twisted. We're walking to the end of the boardwalk. Over here, this is where they have one of their haunted trails. It's called Hell Valley Cemetery. I'm gonna check that out. I heard that they took it down. But it doesn't look like they took it down. It actually looks like they added more to it. It was really cool the first year when it came out. Like it's dark out here and they had a ton of fog. Really cool lighting and sound and the scare actors. It doesn't look dark here on camera because the camera's kind of picking it up. But yeah, this one is really cool. Hell Valley Cemetery. A haunted trail kind of haunted house. But anyways, this is located over here. I thought you'd be able to see by the pandemonium. I wanted to go in the store right over here. They do have a lot of Fright Fest merchandise. I already see this. I really love this one. I bought the hoodie with a ventriloquist puppet. Just kind of want to do a walkthrough tour and see some of this merch that they have. Georgie. Yeah, that, it's really cool. I'm not a big fan of white. I thought you'd like this one, George. It's kind of kind of your roller derby theme. Yeah. All right, so here's the big Oktoberfest statue guy. He usually moves. So like straight ahead is another returning haunted house. My honest opinion, it's not the best. It's okay because it's a haunted house, but it's called Trapped. So it's kind of like an asylum. So yeah, this is returning. I think it's been around two years. And that's over here in Spasburg section. They do have their Halloween pumpkin tree. It's already getting dark over here. I'm thinking the reason they're getting ready to do the fireworks. This place is, this section is getting ready to be closed over here in the back of Crack Axle Canyon Steampunk District. All right, so here is in the Crack Axle Canyon Steampunk District. This area, they call it Steam Pumpkins. They also have right here this train station where it says the arrival. If you get it here at a certain time, it's really awesome. The train station brings all the monsters and all the monsters are unleashed to go to their scare zones and their haunted houses. But yeah, so this was part of Soul Harvest. They brought the monster back over here. 
This was up at the front of the park, but now relocated over here by Daredevil Dive Flying Machines. Also, what's exciting is a brand new haunted house to replace Buried Alive. Buried Alive was right over here. That was a, a cool haunted house. But now for 2024, along with Stranger Things, they're bringing the Conjuring universe. So I'm really excited for that. That could be anything from The Nun, Annabelle, anything from The Conjuring, maybe The Crooked Man. They're bringing that over here? Yeah, this right here that was buried alive is now going to be The Conjuring. They don't have anything advertising The Conjuring. But that's another haunt that I would love to film. I know Jeffrey Seberg, the park president, is not watching my video. He'd be really awesome if he was. But I would love to be granted access, Jeffrey Seberg or Six Flags, to be able to film and document the haunted houses. SeaWorld and Halloween Horror Nights, that's people. Come on, Six Flags. Here's another one of the pumpkins. And you can see the sign right there, Steam Pumpkins. They also brought back a returning haunted house, Slaughterhouse Extreme 666. It's right here by the Iron Rattler. Well, you want to see if there's a wait? Yeah, we're already here. Oh, see how much, how long it is. So yeah, there's a sign right there, the Conjuring Universe. September 7th through November 3rd for Six Flags, Fiesta, Texas. All right, so I believe that's all the updates here for Six Flags Fiesta, Texas for Fright Fest 2024. The water park over here, the last couple years, they've been doing Fear Acres, which is another haunted walkthrough trail. I'm assuming they're gonna be doing that again. That one's always fun. The haunted trails are free. Also, if you go to Six Flags Dallas, the one in Arlington, their two new haunts, they're doing Stranger Things and they're doing Saw. So I'm kind of jealous of Saw. I'd like to check out that one also. All right, since we're here at nighttime, we can see how it's gonna look with some of the lighting. It looks like it's just gonna be like black light lighting. Just trying to see with the black light, how it would look with the skeletons. Yeah, the black light looks cool, but it's not picking up the black light colors that I thought it would be. All right, so that's it for our updates over here at Six Flags for August 31st, 2024. We're leaving the park. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Dark Dimensions Haunted House.